What is good, Raider Nation, man? The off season is starting, man. It's cooking up. It's cooking up, man. Um, today I got us a good one, man. A video. We got some news today. We got some news. Some good news. Some not so good news. You know. It. You know, it's the off season, man. The, this new salary cap is killing teams. Moves is being made every day. And it's not even March 15th yet. It's not even the, the beginning of the tampering period yet. And moves are continuing to happen. But today we found out that one of the last standing guys of that draft class in 2014 has officially departed ways with the Raiders. And another one of DC's friends gone, man. Uh, I don't know what Juden, Gruden has against DC's guys, but they just seem to be going left and right, man. They every every week, every new year, every off season, another one of DC's guys is gone. So, um, Gabe Jackson, he has been officially released by the Las Vegas Raiders, saving us nine point six million dollars in cap space officially putting us in the positive cap space we are now up three million dollars in cap i mean it's good but you know i didn't i i personally did not want him to be a guy that would leave us this year um i actually didn't think that he was gonna be leaving this year um i thought that he would be getting restructured that's what i personally thought um but it looks like he's gone Nine point six million dollars, basically ten million saved. Um, we all knew that he was gonna be a cap casualty this year because of his nine point six million dollar cap hit. Um, it does save us a good chunk of change. I'm not gonna lie, but like I said in the other video, I think now this means that Trent Brown is officially staying. Um, Mike Mayock did talk about the jury is still out on Trent Brown, which. He, he was still speaking highly on him, man. He, I really don't think Trent Brown is leaving. I think he'll stay. He still has two years on his contract this year and the year after that. Um, yeah, I mean, Gabe Jackson, you know, once a Raider, always a Raider. I really hope he doesn't go to a rival team. As long as he doesn't go in within our division, which is very possible. The Chiefs need offensive line help badly. Um as long as he doesn't go within our division, you know, I wish him the best of luck. It sucks. I, I'm not going to lie. It sucks. This is, an, like I said, another one of DC's guys gone. Um, I think he was one of the, what, maybe maybe it was just DC and him as the last two standing from that class, um, which Derek Carr has expressed before, you know, it's never, it, it, he was like, maybe it's never a good recipe uh, for success when it's only a couple of us left, but that's how the cookie crumbles. That's how the, the chips fail. It happens. It's the NFL football business at the end of the day. But Tyrell Williams is gone. I wouldn't be surprised if in this week we see him find a new home. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it hurts. I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping for us to keep this line together. But I do understand that Denzel Good played out of his freaking mind last year. Denzel Good, in fact, um, looking at stats, Denzel Good did play better than 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 Gabe Jackson. Uh, Gabe Jackson did allow two and a half sacks. Denzel Good only allowed one and a half sacks, and that was throughout him playing tackle and guard. So, you know, it's arguable that he played he played better competition at times and allowed less sacks. Um, Denzel Good is older. He's older, but he will be. He won't be asking for a ten million dollar price tag. Probably from four to five. Um, I remember in the press conference, Denzel Good says, "Bring out the Brinks trucks." Talking about Denzel Good, but it came at his expense. So, uh, kind of ironic, but it's business. It happens. Um, the next news that I want to talk about. As we all know, we did release Tyrell Williams not too long ago. Um, I'm I'm glad for him, man. He found a home. He is in Detroit. Once a Raider, always a Raider. You got to respect that. Um, you know, if this guy can stay healthy, Jared Goff should have a good player to throw the ball to. 
Um, you know, hopefully his career good do, does good over there. He's not too old. I think he's 28 or 29. Probably ha I think he only signed a one year deal worth uh 6.2 million. So he was going from making almost 12 to making about half what he was making. So he understands the circumstances. Um, Tyron Williams, I'm glad he found a home. I hope that you know they do good by him in Detroit. I mean, oh well. Uh, Tyra Williams is gone. Gabe Jackson is gone. Like I said, I really hope that Gabe Jackson does not go to a rival team. That would hurt us badly. And I feel like anytime that happens, it bites us in the ass, man. Like, you know, I mean, it, Gabe Jackson, one of my favorite players, man. Um, I'm. What I will say is, you know, I'm glad that it's looking like it's um, leaning towards we will keep Trent Brown, but... I do kind of want to understand the pro uh, the the thought process of Ma Mayock and Gruden when um, Gruden preaches availability and Gabe Jackson was available the whole year. He played all sixteen games. He wasn't hurt. He wasn't. He was there. He was out on the field. And a guy like Trent Brown was not on out on the field. And he's most likely going to stay. And I'm not saying. I want us to keep Trent Brown, but I do want to understand their thought process in making this move because you're preaching availability, but then you have a person who played at an extremely high level and was available the whole season and you get rid of him. That in my head, it doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense. Um, I, I, I really want us to keep Gabe. I'm not sure if you could tell, but I really wanted us to keep Gabe. I thought he would, at the most, be getting restructured. I did not think he would be leaving us. Um, you know, he is on the back end of his career. Sadly, the beginning of his career was like, it was plagued by injuries, man. He, he was, it was hard for him to stay on the field. And that's what I'm, that, that's what is confusing. You know, you, you say, you, you preach availability and he wasn't available the other years and you still paid him this high money than the year he was available that he proved that he is this top tier player at his position. You get rid of him. It I I never get these kinds of things. Um I know it's business, but you got Trip Brown who wasn't available and you get you you're still gonna pay the man fourteen million dollars. Like I said, I want us to keep Trim Brown, but I really just want to understand that thought process there in that room, and making cuts and trades and all this kinds of stuff. Um, but hey, this move did put us back into the green. We are now three million dollars up in cap, so we are no longer in the negative. Um, but one more bit of news that I do want to talk about is this. It, it, this rubbed me the wrong way. John Feliciano, ex-Raider, you know, sees the news. Gabe Jackson is released. Then goes out and says, I know he's happy as fuck right now. And, and just leaves that tweet out there. First of all, why? Why would you say that? What has the Raider organization ever done for you to, to, to just throw shots, to just throw subliminal messages like that? Um... I don't think he's a, a person to even be talking like he's he's he knows things. He hasn't been with us for years. I don't think he's been with us since John Gruden got here. Or maybe John Gruden booted him out the door because we, we had something better. But um like what I, I really want to understand like what he thought he was getting at with doing that. Um now you have a bunch of the Raider Nation in his comments just like Asking him what's going on, like what, what what was the problem? Is it DC? Is it Gruden? What is it? Um, he shouldn't be talking. He needs to close his mouth. He needs to stop acting like he's somebody because they went. I think it was to the divisional round. And he shouldn't be talking. He needs to shut his mouth. Or else, Gabe Jackson's gonna go over there and take his spot because Feliciano's a bum. Um, he was actually one of the worst players on his offensive line, consistently getting beat. Like, ah. As far as him, his his once a Raider, always a Raider tag is gone. I don't respect that man no more. I mean, I never really followed him after he left, but like, what I really wanted to understand what he was getting at out of this, and like, why? Like, I don't know if DC ever told you like, hey, listen, you're trash. Like, you need to get better. You're getting me hit. Maybe that's why he was mad. But it. In all honesty, if I was the quarterback, I would be saying that to him because he is trash. He was getting his quarterback hit. And, like, you 
what, like, what was the point of, of that comment? I really want to understand that. Um, he, he's a bum. I don't like it when bums talk about players of ours or now ex players of ours. Like why, why would, why would somebody be happy by losing their job? Why, why would somebody be happy from that? Why would somebody be happy losing $10 million? I don't know. I don't know why anybody would be happy about that. Um, at all. I don't think it's not like he's going to go to another team and make $10 million. He's going to go to another team and probably make seven or eight. So I don't know what he was getting at with this comment. I'm pretty sure it was more hinted towards our organization. Like I said, screw him. I don't like him. He's a bum to me. Don't ever talk about the Raiders again. Uh, like Feliciano, bro, you need to shut up. That man is probably going to go sign with the Bills and your ass is going to be on the bench or you're going to be cut. So... Don't ever speak anything about the Raiders, man, because you are in no position to do so. You suck. You're a bad player. And I'm pretty sure you know that. You were one of the reasons why Josh Allen was getting blown up in the playoffs. Just stop it. Just stop it, please. But as you can see with all this news, like I said, congratulations to Tyrell Williams. I hope you stay healthy. I hope you do good. You've done nothing wrong by us. We've done nothing wrong by you. We, we hope for the best for you. Dave Jackson, I hope the best for you. Once a Raider, always a Raider. You've been with us since your, the beginning of your career. I hope you go somewhere and become su very successful. I hope you get paid there. But just don't go to a divisional rival, please. Please don't go to a divisional rival. And Feliciano, you're a bum. You suck. Don't ever talk about the Raiders. Don't ever hint anything about the Raiders. You're not here. Shut your mouth and be quiet. But <laughs> yeah, Raider Nation, that's, that's it for today. Um... Let me know. I mean, there's going to be more news in the upcoming future, and I know there will. But like I said, um, congrats to those guys. Hope they all do the best. Feliciano, trash. But yeah, man, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the video. Let me know what you guys think Feliciano was hinting at in the comments. Subscribe if you can, and I'm out. Peace.